What's going on guys and welcome back to Gardener Gaming and welcome to Rugby Challenge 3, my Leicester Tigers career mode as you can probably tell by the title. I was going to wait for Rugby Challenge 4 before I started uploading rugby games onto this channel but because of all this pandemic it's been delayed unfortunately and we don't know how long for so I decided to purchase this and start making videos on it. So today as you, uh, as I've just told you we're going to be starting a new career mode as Leicester Tigers trying to get their return to glory back and without further ado let's be having you. So into the career mode we come straight away, there's not much to do, there's not much customization in like FIFA, because it's not like FIFA, rugby games don't get as much attention unfortunately, but the team we have, well the squad, this is no like in no particular order, we have Gen Jung's Cole, Tafua, Kitchener, Denton, O'Connor, Calamaphony, Ben Young's, George Ford, Johnny May, Jayco, Taz Home, Manny Tullaggy, Jonah Holmes and Toulouse Reano. Tafu Pilotta now, Gustin Cartez, David Fowl, Will Spencer, Guy Thompson, Sam Harrison, Kyle Eastman, Leo Sato, Harry Wells, Mountain, Amapa Palangu, Jake Kerr, Ken Petty, Ma Arthur, Adam Thompson, George Worth, James Boss, Jordan Olivella, Hamro Leidenberg, uh, sorry, Leidenberg, Tom Hardwick, Joe Bailey, Sam Aspland Robinson, Henry Lavin, Joe, uh, Greg Bateman, Joe Hayes, Thomas Lavanini and Noel Reed. So that is the squad we have at Leicester Tigers and as you know that is not the squad that comes with Rugby Challenge 3, I've updated this myself um, which took literally, it took so much time um, yeah it honestly oh, it took so much time but next to me, as uh, so yeah, it took so much time to make and I've updated all the other teams as much as they can be. They're not going to be perfect, so please don't slate in the comments. Um, we're not going to play the pre-season friendlies either. We're going to sim straight to the Premiership season and we start our season with a trip from Exeter. Uh, sorry, a visit from Exeter. We beat them 18-14 in pre-season, but that means nothing when it comes to the Viva Premiership. I'm going to select my team, and then I'm going to get straight into the game. So I'll see you in the gameplay. So here we are on match day one of the season at Welford Road. The sun is out as we are preparing to take on the Exeter Chiefs as George Ford leads out Leicester Tigers. There is, just quickly before we get into it, it is 2015 in game time, so unfortunately we have lost people like Toulouse Veanu to international selection, but that is not going to phase us as we come with a very strong lineup for the first day of the season with Ellis Gens, Tau uh, Taufua Palotto, no, Tau Tafua Palotto now, I still can't pronounce it, and Dan Cole, which is pronounced as Danny Cole in the game and his name tag for some reason. Thomas Lavanini, the new son in the second row, partnered by um, new apprentice Joe Bailey. On the blonde side flank, we've had, we have Hanro Leibnenberg with Jordan Tafua on the open side and Guy Thompson in at number eight. Uh, due to Sione Calamifoni being out on international duty. As we go into the back line, we've got the England partnership of Ben Youngs and George Ford at 9 and 10. I don't know why they're not on international duty. Don't know if England have been knocked out of the World Cup. It's probably quite realistic at the minute. Uh, with Jaco Taute and Manny Tuolaghi in the centres. Johnny May and Jordan Olufella on the wings. Johnny May's not an England selection either. And Jonah Holmes, the Welshman at fullback. And then we'll go to the visitors' side today. We've got Ben Moon, Luke Cowan, Dickey, and Thomas Francis. Again, it's looking more like England have been knocked out with Atkins and Sam Hill in the second row. The back row of a very experienced Matt Kovacic, Don Armand, and Sam Simmons with Nick White and Gareth Steenson pairing up at 9 and 10. Ollie Devoto and Englishman Henry Slade in the centres, leaving. Uh, Jack Noll on one wing, Wilson on the other and Phil Dolman at fullback. So as we're about to get underway in the Premiership season, it is looking very exciting. George Ford's right boot is going to get us underway. And here we go at Welford Road and it's live. So Ford kicks off, we kick to the right hand side. Oliver Fellas won it. Ball goes to Tau Tufa Palotta now. 
gets sent back but as Dan Cole comes in at scrum half finds Ben Youngs who gives it to Jordan Tafua who finds a little hole then Hamron Leibnenberg carries it to the open side breaks one tackle Leicester are looking good here and it's now Lavanini's turn to pick and go to the left hand side but he, he picks out Manu Tuilagi instead he finds Johnny May and Chicken Leg has got us off to an absolutely amazing start in the Aviva Premiership against the, one of the best teams arguably uh, one of the best teams in the championship uh, Premiership it is Johnny May as he likes that one it's taken him four minutes well in four or five minutes so I didn't look at the time to be honest with you I've just actually bottled that it's not even taken four minutes to get his first try on the belt and George Ford lines up his first kick of the Premiership season at Welford Road and that's a great shot from George Ford straight through the middle of the post it's Leicester Tigers 1 yeah, Leicester Tigers 1 Leicester Tigers 7 Exeter 0 so Gareth Steenson the captain of this Exeter team puts the ball back down into the Leicester 22 George Ford the captain comes up and takes it Ball goes back to Jaco Taute. He puts his right foot on it towards the touchline. The crowd aren't happy with something, and neither is the referee. As there's a very late and high tackle on Jaco Taute, who's trying to clear the kick. And Nick White, the Australian, has been sent to the bin. Onto his feet and wins the ball back. He throws it to Jordan Oliverfella, who runs straight down the throat of Phil Dolman. 12 minutes in, it's still less than seven. Youngs finds Pilato now, he finds Jordan Talfua, he gives a little offload to Johnny May and it's Jaco Talte and the way he sprints from the X to the fence and it's been an absolute dream start for Leicester and Jaco Talte on his debut Jordan Tafua could have gone himself, throws a dodgy offload towards Johnny May. Johnny May pops it to Taute and Taute just does the rest, sprints away, he does the South African. And George Ford from virtually under the sticks isn't going to think twice about this one as he puts it straight through the middle of the post. Didn't strike it very well but it went through. It's two out of two for George Ford, two tries to nil for Leicester, and it's Leicester 14 next to the line to uh, Pilato now. It gives an offload to Thompson, who finds Johnny May. Johnny May's in space again. It goes round Dolman, tackled by Wilson though. Leicester in the line break. It goes to the left hand side through guard Thompson, the former Ross. Tries to go straight through Dolman, but Kovacic comes back and helps Dolman. And this could be a turnover for extra as it is, as you can see Leicester bodies fleeing the rock. They go to the blind side, and what on earth, what on earth was Ted Hill thinking there? Uh, sorry, Johnny Hill. What on earth was Johnny Hill thinking there? Because Leicester are going to take it into a mall, and they're going to look to get the shove on, but Exeter finally fight back with something as Oliver Feller comes off his wing and runs straight and hard towards the extra trial line. Genj picks to the open side. Is Pavesic going to hold him down? No. Pavesic has failed to hold him down. Leicester, the start gets even better for Leicester as they're nearly in bonus point territory through the baby Rhino Ellis Genj. Very well built try there for Leicester. And George Ford adds the extras. Again, we're not thinking about anything. And that's George Ford's sixth point of the game. And it's 21 points now with Leicester Tigers lead Exeter. 
to fill up, comes to take the kick off again. And he gets back up to the halfway line. Gardenberg goes to the right hand side, gives it to Guy Thompson, who's hit high. And the referee's gone to his pocket again. And giving the yellow card to Henry Slade this time, is that? Can we see his shirt number? Yes, it is Henry's back on. And the half time, who goes? This will be the last play of the half. No, it was carried back into the 22, says the referee. So Exeter have a chance to put some points on the board before the break. Ball frame wide. A little switch back inside. Looking to the open side. Taute hits the inside centre. To Fua. Saw what Nick Wright was planning to do there. Goes up to the open side. Back to the inside. That's very nice. From Exeter as they're starting to put some phases together. Release. Yes, they're defending very well just before the half time break. As there's a line break, I don't know who it is. Is it Matt Vesic? Jen Holmes brings Release. it down. Back to the open side, it's to come, and they're going in under the sticks just before the break. Connects to got some points on the board, it's game on. Don Armand, it is. Who gets put on the sticks? It was Sam Simmons, uh, Sam Simmons, the first line break. And three defenders all committed there to the inside shoulder. And Gareth Steenson's going to have no problem putting this over the post. So we're going into the break, it's Leicester Tigers 21x to 7. It doesn't look as one way now, but I promise you it is. So we as we'll go and look at the half-time stats. Leicester 77% possession says it all, but it's not been in the right areas, some of it. As Exeter have had half the first half in the Vicin bin as well. Leicester pulling more kicks and the same amount of tackles, even though they've had 50% extra territory uh, possession. But that's got nothing to do because we know what Exeter can do on the break and in attack as they showed at the end of that first half. Into the second half we go. It's Leicester Targa's 21, Exeter Chief 7. Joe Bailey looks to hold him up. Guy Thompson is going to look to drift defend. Ball switch back to the inside as Exeter like that. But Leicester have read it this time and Genge has got back to his feet quick enough. Too laggy. Gives the ball to Johnny May. Goes around Jack Knoll. May steps around Dolman. Leicester, this could be a very good counter attack. As Young finds Lavanini. The tower Release. brought down. Genj carries on the work around the corner. As Oliver Fella straightens up. And he's off to the corner. He is, and Oliver Fella has secured the bonus point for Leicester. And that is a great bonus point try from Jordan Oliver Feller. As a counter attack launched by Ellis Genge and Johnny May working together. Then Oliver Feller changes his angle, then kicks back to the outside once he's round Phil Dolman. And then he lets his pace do the best. As Genge gives it to Pelotta now, and there's where Oliver Feller changes his angle and then sprints off to the corner to get round Phil Dolman. George Ford lining up his fourth kick of the game, 100% off that right boot so far. As he puts that successfully through the middle again, like he's got the ball on the end of a piece of elastic. It's Leicester Tigers. Joe Hayes gets off long quickly. Billy Offload still manages to get away, it comes back on the inside for Wilson. Holmes makes the tackle on Wilson. Inside the 22 X to come for the second time in the game and they've scored the only time over here. Can they make it two from two as David Denton Release. makes another solid tackle. Gaston Cortez. Advantage. Manny to a lag, he comes from an off the hard position to make the tackle. Ten minutes to go. 
Joe Bailey. Puts another dominant hit on the net right. Ball thrown left. As does another line break, money to allow he stops Release. it. The referee says nothing coming from the offside due to the England centre. And what's going to happen in the hit? Steenson's going to look to find the corner. And he's wow, so close to going dead from Gareth Steenson. Here's the puff of the cheek, says a lot. Unless you're going to look to take the line out off Luke Cowan Dickey. Joe Bailey does so, but Sam Harrison didn't expect that to come down to him, and he's not happy with the way the referees called that off him. And it's a scrum for extra in a very Foul. dangerous position. Bind. Seven Set. minutes to go, can they get their second try? <laughs> all the fans have made it all the way up from Devon. They hold the scrum, no one's given an inch. Hardwick puts a lot of pressure on Gareth Steenson. Release! Which puts him nearly back to the 22 to start a fresh. Levanini with a great tackle. Leicester holding on. As the ball thrown back and far from Sam Simmons. Just these one handed Release. offloads making one of the best number eights in the Premiership. To the blind side they come. Sam Harrison tackle seconds to go. As Tom Hardwick puts it down in the corner. And the referee's going to call it there. Leicester aren't getting another attack. But the referee's going to call it there. And that's a very successful game for Leicester. The first game of the season. Getting five points against one of the best teams in the Premiership. And the stats say all oh, Exeter tried to come back in it in the second half. But tries from Genj, May, Taute and Oliver from all over the pitch. And four conversions by England fly half. George Ford. Leaves the one Don Ireland try and conversion by Steenson. Very inferior compared to Leicester score. The 75% territory at possession shows, sums up the game really. It was as one sided as the scoreboard is. And it said that last 10 minutes, Exeter didn't really offer much. This second round of the Aviva Premiership season's getting underway. And it leaves Leicester Tigers going down the M1 to face Worcester Warriors at the Aviva, um, what am I saying, at six ways, which is the Free State Stadium again. There's nothing more that looks like it than this. So, the Worcester Warriors team to face today, starting in the front row, is Black, Jack Shingleton and Shernet, with Barry and Phillips in the second row, with Cox and five silver on the flanks and the pre in at eight. Francois Huha comes in at nine with Ryan Mills at ten. Ben Teo, the British and Irish line and centre joined by Venter. The Welsh international and prospect Josh Adams on the left wing, Hammond on the right wing and Chris Pennell brings a thumping boot at number 15. Leicester have had a little realignment due to international call-ups etc. Well, this is bit, uh, but that's mainly in the back line. The front row is the same with Ellis Gens, Tau, Tufa, Palato now and Dan Cole with Lavanini and Joe Bately staying there, uh, keeping their place in the second row. The switch of flanks for Hanro Leibnumberg and Jordan Tafua leaves jo uh, Guy Thompson in the number eight. Ben Youngs comes in at nine with Captain George Ford in the middle. Noel Reed comes in at 12 for his first appearance of the season, joined by Manu Tuolaga at 13. Johnny May keeps his place on the left wing and due to international duty, Jordan Oliver Feller gets replaced by Sam Asla. Ah, Sam Aspland Robinson on the right and Jayco Tato had a cracking game against Exeter last time out has moved to fullback. That is la that is both the teams I can't speak at the minute, but that is both the teams left playing into a heavy headwind in the first half, representing the orange kick for the first time this season. George Ford gets us underway. It's Leicester versus Worcester in round two of the Premiership season. Reid who gives it to Thompson on his outside it. shoulder. There's a lot of drifting there from Leicester. That was a very good first it's attack. And it, the error could lead to a try, but Jaco Taute pushes jo uh, Ryan Adams. Is it right? No, Josh Adams. <laughs> I don't know who I'm thinking of Ryan Adams. Off the pitch, but Leicester weren't playing to the whistle there. And that nearly left them in trouble in the first five minutes at six ways. George Ford's right boot puts his bat down into the Worcester, the Worcester half of the pitch. And Jordan Tafur makes the tackle, gets up to his feet and wins the ball back. And this is what we call end-to-end -end action at six ways. Into the Worcester 22 we get. 
Johnny May looks to continue the counter attack. Finds Ben Youngs who gives it to Noel Reed. The Irishman carries it in. But could this be another turnover? Neither team looking to the blind side. Finds Hamas Bland Robinson who tries to step inside. Release. Thomas Lavanini carries. It's a very big carry that for Lavanini. But he didn't have much support from his Tigers. Brian Mills under a lot of pressure clears the ball away just in the nick of time. Leicester will have the line out to set just inside the Worcester half. Uh, Joe Bailey. Advantage. Dan Cole offside. Turnover though. But the referee's going to ping it back straight away for the offside against Dan Cole. Interesting choice coming up for Worcester. Ryan Mills. Oh no, the ball's on to Chris Pennell to go for the sticks. I did say in the warm up he's got a booming boot on him. And he's shown exactly that. As Leicester are trailing for the first time this season, three points to nil against Worcester Warriors. An exciting 18 minutes of rugby. As Worcester take the kick off, Colotto now with a tackle. Not releasing. And Leicester have won a penalty straight back. Colotto now wins it for getting over the ball quickly. Leicester are going to look to level the scores at one apiece. Is George Ford, the captain, has got a task on his hand to navigate the ball to the uprights with the wind. And that is a very good start from George Ford as it got the legs. It does. So it, we're level again at six ways, three points apiece. Worcester's lead lasted approximately a minute. He's putting Release. some ferocious hits in today, is the Argentinian. As there's another line break, Genge gets sent by the dummy. Taufua, Tarte, and they all pursue back, but Taufua makes the tackle. Puha goes to the blind side, gives a little pop up to inside. Lavanini again with a ferocious tackle. I keep saying we're ferocious in tackle, Lavanini in the same sentence as May flies out the line. But Shingleton runs an excellent line, and Tarte could be in trouble here. No, he's not. A high tackle, that should be a penalty try in my eyes. At least a yellow card. But Chris Pennell takes the ball back in turn again. Just calms everything down. He strikes that well, just sneaks inside the left hand up right. So it could have been 10 points to three. But a tactical challenge from Jake Otaute. Nice. As Aspam Robinson misses his tackle on Josh Adams again. Taute pulled up. Release. For the second time in as many phases of the full back. As Genge puts a high tackle in on his opposite number, Genge. The referee has a word with George Ford. Nine minutes to go to the break, and Chris Pennell is just going to keep using this win to his advantage. He's got the accuracy as well, so the Worcester have doubled their lead to six points. It's Worcester six, Leicester nine. Uh, sorry, Worcester nine, Leicester. <laughs> Thompson picks up, pulls it back to Youngs. He finds Ford in the gap. George Ford goes to step panel. Doesn't work. Pilato now takes the ball to the right side. Tuolagi gives it to Asplam Robinson. Who's tackled? He's not in touch. And yes, he is in touch, says the referee. Harsh decision there against Sam Asplam Robinson, the youngster. But Leicester going to half time trailing, nine points to three. Dominate it. Well, dominating territory, but trailing on possession, Leicester. The handling errors, Leicester still winning that even though having half the uh, possession and the line breaks, Worcester are also winning. So it's six ways there, so we've got a game on their hands. George Ford is the reason why Leicester on the scoreboard with a very good right foot to penalty. Into the second half we go, it's Worcester 9, Leicester 3. Leicester force to Worcester. Wait, no, I'm thinking, uh, no, yeah, it was. Release. Too laggy, can't get the turnover. But big defence from Leicester. 
Well, Noel Reed nearly puts through on that, but now he's left space in the defensive line. And Worcester aren't going down easily at the minute. Jaco Taute finally puts Worcester Bay on the floor. To the open side they come. Dan Cole gets sat down by Josh Adams. Ben Youngs. Another high tackle from Ellis Genge and the referee did warn George Ford in the first half. And there we go, the referee has used his card against Ellis Genge just before the quadruple sub happened, which now makes it a triple sub because Ellis Genge was going to be replaced by Joe Hayes. Jonah Holmes coming on alongside Academy graduate Henry Lavin and Kyle Eastman. Lamanini turnover at line out Hardwick puts a huge boot on it sorry it wasn't Eastman that's coming it's Hardwick and Pennell makes an error there as he carries it over the touch line and now Tom Hardwick comes on and makes an instant impact Pilotto now cut <laughs> Tafua picks it up, goes to the left hand side, gives it to Manu Tulagi. Tulagi throws a dodgy offload again. Release. And Worcester let off the hook once again. Eastman with a big hit. Tafua. Young's push it. Ref, come on, that was out. Release. Young should have stuck a proper tackle in there. As there's a lot of space opening up for Worcester. Here's the counter attack we were talking about. 12 minutes to go. There's a lot of space on the blind side. Jack Shingleton again carries the ball. Money to laggy tackles. Hardwick. Makes the tackle, he's been a good in substance coming on for George The forward pass there from Worcester. So Leicester will get another chance Crouch. to get down the Worcester end. Bind. Set. I don't know. <laughs> Eastman with another solid tackle. Youngs comes, takes the ball, gives it well to Johnny May. Johnny May rubbers it past Chris Pennell. May's still kicking it. May's over the line. And two minutes go before full time. Johnny May has pulled out a moment of magic. And that is what Johnny May does. Second try and two appearances for Johnny May. As Youngs gets a turnover. Gives it wide to May. May grubbers it past Chris Pennell. Puts it through his legs as well. BMC manages to keep the ball and dives over the line just about. I don't know why he's got line out jumpers tape on, we'll just ignore that. On his right foot. He's got the wind behind him, he's struck it well towards that far post and the wind puts it straight through the middle. And that was their last bit of play for the Leicester Tigers. And they have come out successful 10 points to 9 against, against Worcester at 6 ways. And if we look at our schedule, we've got um, Sale Sharks at McLean Park, which is the equivalent of the AJ Dell Stadium, to uh, start the next episode. And then we get uh, London Irish visiting Welford Road in the second episode, and maybe even Wasps uh, at the Rico in the third episode. But in the fourth episode, we'll have at least one round of European action against Beeritz, maybe even two against Munster. And then the third team is cast in our European group. So we've got a very tough European group. Bear it, months, it's all that matters for now. So if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you, uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe, uh, turn that notification bell on so you get notified every time I upload. It's either this or FIFA at the minute and I'm really enjoying uploading. So I'm going to keep on the grind and getting this to you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.